Hey, this is Elise, and this is a lengthen and stretch video. You'll just need a yoga mat or something to sit on. You're gonna start with one leg straight out to the side and the other knee bent with your heel in towards your groin. Now, if you're rolled back in your pelvis, you might want something extra to sit on, like a folded towel or a folded blanket. Also, if your bent knee is really high up away from the floor, you might also want some padding underneath that thigh so that the hip can relax and rest into this position. So you're gonna flex your foot of the straight leg, inhale, lengthen your spine, and then rotate to face your straight leg. You'll hinge at your hips until you can't hinge anymore, and then you can fold over your leg and release the back of your neck. Your arms, your hands will be on either side of your leg, and you can just let them relax, let your shoulders relax down your back, and breathe into this position. Try to keep the heel of your flexed foot connected to the floor so you're not hyperextending through the back of your knee. If you like, you can come up on your fingertips, inhale, lengthen through your chest a little bit more, and then on your next exhale, fold even more over your leg. So it's like your forehead is pointing down towards your knee, almost like you could kiss your kneecap. Great. Start to come on up. You're gonna keep your legs the same now. You're gonna inhale to lengthen your spine again, and this time you're gonna rotate in the other direction towards your bent knee side. You're gonna lift an arm up and then side bend towards your straight leg. So you're still in the rotation, and you're also side bending up and over towards your straight leg. Both shoulder blades can relax down away from your ears, and you can really reach your top arm up and over, almost like you could go reach for your toes on that straight leg side. If you want a little extra, you could take your face and look up towards the ceiling, roll the side of your rib cage back and the bottom side of your rib cage forward so you're maintaining that spinal rotation as you side bend. Keep your hips grounded into the floor, whether that's on your yoga mat or the folded towel or blanket that you have underneath you. So now you're gonna bend your straight leg and you're gonna try and hold onto it, one hand to your outer knee and one hand cupping your heel. And you can kind of rock it back and forth like you're rocking a baby, just to kind of get some movement into that hip joint. As you're doing this, see if you can still keep your chest lifting up towards the sky instead of letting your lower back round and your chest cave in. You can draw your shin towards your chest even a little bit more. And then you're going to set your top leg down for an ankle to knee pose. So you can either take your top ankle directly over your bottom knee or you can go ahead and straighten your bottom leg so that you still have that ankle to knee pose. It's kind of like a four position when you look down at your legs, um, but the bottom leg is straight. In that case, you would keep that foot flexed just like you did before. In either position, you're gonna inhale, lengthen your spine from here, crease forward from your hips, and fold forward over your legs. Try to keep both feet flexed actually as you do this, and the back of your hips staying grounded into your mat or into your folded towel that you're sitting on. And then just like before, once you've lengthened your spine, if you crease forward, you can just relax and fold forward over your leg, releasing the back of your neck, so not trying to keep your hold your head up or keep any tension in the sides of your neck or your chest feel like you could actually send your breath towards your back, into your back. And then come on up here. So let's do that whole thing to the other side. You're going to keep your other leg straight out to the side now and bend the opposite knee in towards your groin. 
you'll frame your straight leg with a hand on either side. You're gonna inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, rotate to face that leg, and then crease forward at your hips. You can walk your hands forward so that your shoulder blades can rest easily onto your back. Remember that your foot is flexed on the straight leg side and your heels connected to the floor. Notice if there's any places here where you're holding tension and some of them might not be so obvious, like maybe around your jaw or around your brow, maybe even in your hands and your, your wrists, your elbows. Just increase your awareness of what's going on in your body as you take a, another breath here. You're gonna slowly come up, keep your legs where they are. This time you're gonna to rotate to face your bent knee side. You're gonna lift an arm up and then take a side bend towards your straight leg. Now in this position, sometimes that opposite hip wants to pop up off the floor. So make a conscious effort to keep your opposite hip grounded into whatever you're sitting on. And then from there, it's like your spine can get longer rotate and side bend all at the same time. Your bottom arm as well might have a tendency to be very close to you and therefore hiking your shoulder right up close to your ear. See if you can walk your fingertips as far as you can towards your straight leg foot so that that shoulder blade can rest down your back. Nice. Now, Bend your straight leg, hold on to it. Try not to hold on to the toes, but really around your heel so you're not gonna sickle or bend at the ankle. Your other hand will hold your knee and you're just gonna take some rocks side to side. After a couple rocks like that, you can stay through the center, draw your shin in towards your chest and your chest up towards your shin. For some people, this might be very minimal sensation, and for others, this might be super intense. So wherever you are is okay. Come into the ankle to knee pose now. So ankle settles right on top of your bottom knee, or you can stay here, or straighten your bottom leg. Flex both feet, come up on your fingertips, inhale, Lengthen your spine and then exhale, crease at your hips to fold forward over your straight leg. Drop into your breath and practice accepting yourself wherever your body is landing today, which will be different on every single day. So just notice where you're at and own that. Fully own where you are in your body right here right now. Ease up on out of that. And let's do one more thing together here. You're gonna make your way all the way up to stand. From a comfy standing position, meaning your feet are about as wide as your hips, you're going to start folding forward and hang over your legs. So touch something. If you can reach the floor, reach the floor. If you need to bend your knees a lot to make that happen, do that. If you need to touch your shins or maybe even a yoga block or a chair that's in front of you, you can do all of those options. And once you're holding on to something, you can really release through the back of your neck. Let your head go, let your body hang, and just sense what's going on in the back of your legs and your back. Good, take your time. You're gonna roll up to stand so your head is the last thing to come up. And then let's take a breath together. Inhale, reach your arms out wide, on up overhead, and then take your hands right over your heart. And truly, truly thank yourself for showing up on the mat today, showing up for your body and your mind. It's truly the kindest gift that you can give to yourself. Wonderful job.